peace and love, black family. Black family. This is DJ Rock Hall. DJ Rock, Rock all. all night long. Rock all and night long. And you are long. listening to the Young G's Perspective. The Young G's Perspective. On the Streets Are Talking the streets Podcast are Network. Talking Podcast Let's get Network. Let's get. You know, killing what they consider runaway slaves. Mm. People without, without rights anyway. Yeah. Because if you thought that person had a right, your first instinct is that they got a right at life. Mm-hmm. That's your first, you like, if these person got a right at anything, life is, is first, yeah, right? At least human, yeah. At least human. But when you see somebody as a, a, a badge of honor, if you if you get to kill them, mm-hmm. you know, ain't nobody gonna find out where your, what your address is, you know, ain't nobody gonna make this fire motherfucker. So if you fire, you just a regular person, right? Mm-hmm. So I, I bet you ain't nobody gonna post his address. Yeah. Because yeah, essentially you just got away with murder, you just lost your job. It's just a J-O-B. And they don't even pay you as much as other J-O-Bs. We done seen from other instances white supremacists do go from these pages, take care of they racist. Take care of them. I'm living fat, like a fat cat. Yep. Be bred it out. Cause it's a it's a it's a badge of honor amongst their society. But what we notice how what we saying is that there's an unspoken conversation in the in the in the underbelly of society that we talk about, which are racist white supremacists who know that you are less than a field animal. We have history of being called less than a field animal. Getting treated less than a field animal. We got a whole history of that, of those times. Jim Crow. Evidence. Jim Crow segregation. Evidence. So let's not act like we're making something up. That's what that's, that's what's funny to me sometimes. Funny, not funny. The motherfuckers want to act like like that was just a part of the movie that <laughs> we just laughed at all. Yeah. No, like it really oh, didn't happen. It like, happened, but really didn't happen. And for uh, it, it, how intelligent is a person to say, I'm a descendant of, uh, but I didn't hang nobody. I ain't enslaved yeah, nobody. You totally separate yourself from that part. How? I mean, how intelligent is the person that tries to do that? How intelligent are you, really? You gotta be a stupid motherfucker if you think <laughs> that this person steals a million, a, a, a billion dollars and dies, and you get the billion dollars, <laughs> and the the thievery ain't on your hand, the blood ain't on your hand. They motherfucker killed for this money Thanks. to have this wealth. To, to pass down. Facts. It don't matter that it's blood money, do it. Mm-hmm. They don't care. So let's tell the truth about it. You really don't give a fuck about what happened. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You're dealing with the descendants of people who suffered through that. Mm-hmm. How does that dynamic? And then what you want to say, y'all fucked up, y'all crazy, y'all stupid, y'all everything that we created. Huh? Except they want to act like, oh, we had nothing to do with it. Right. That was them. That was our forefathers. We can't really be, we can't really be judged on what they did. Right. But you are a direct descendant ain't of you your proud, forefathers. Ain't you proud of them? Oh, act like you ain't proud of them. Right. Because you still revered them. Highly. But when we talk about the shit they did, that was bogus. Hell, then you separate that shit and be like, look, I ain't do that. I'm not proud of. Them. Yes, you are. You are proud of them. So, again, you ain't fooling nobody. We just really revisiting the facts that we have already discussed time mm-hmm, and again. Mm-hmm, that we know. 100%. So, let's not play that game because we ain't playing. Mm-hmm. Fuck all that. At all. We gonna enlighten and we gonna mossy up. Facts. That's it. We're gonna enlighten and we're gonna mossy up and we and we and we're gonna continue to 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 blaze this trail. 
You know what I mean? For sure. But, and, and for the benefits of the fallen, the benefits of the people who, you know, didn't get a chance to do this, but they made sure we get here. Mm-hmm. That we got here. I have a voice. Can you dig it? So, it is my honor. It is my duty to continue to enlighten us and, and, and just show us the truth when it's right here in your face. Mm-hmm. You asking somebody who can't wait for you to be gone. You can't be gone quicker. You asking them to help you with something? <laughs> To give you some type of understanding, mm-hmm. to grant you some type and of And to give you a roadmap piece. out of your fucking fucked up situation. He wants you in that. He's fucked How up. do that sound? We just asked you to stop killing us. Just stop killing us. He actually thrives because you in a fucked up situation. He's thriving off of that. He's gaining off of that. He's benefiting totally from that. You think he gonna give a roadmap up out that shit? Right. He give you a roadmap out of that shit into some worse shit. <laughs> Cause right. he got to get paid Just like he got to get paid off your back He had to get pleasantries Off your back You had to work For him So he could live the high life Sipping lemonade on the big house porch While your ass in the field And you better not act like you want to do something Other than be in the field Well that's your dead nigga ass Or your whoop beat nigga ass Shit ain't changed. Shit ain't changed. So here at the Young G's perspective, we speak on that thing right there. We speak on that. Because that's the perspective of a Young G in this bitch. Good question. Good question. Free Larry Hoover, free Jeff Ford. Good question. And <clears throat> I always like to err on the side of solution. Yes. So I always want to pose. Yes. Pose. Yes, huh? Uh, 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 ideas, I guess, if you will, uh, of ways we can work ourselves and manage ourselves, work ourselves out of that bullshit and manage ourselves into a uh, beautiful situation. Man, a, a better day, mm-hmm. a brighter day. And uh, I said that to say, economically, we have more than enough to sustain us. I agree. We have more than enough to buy land because that's where we at right now. Don't nobody want to talk about it. We back at the stage of buying absolute land. Yes. And uh, why would you buy land? Well, because land can be cultivated. Mm-hmm. You know, and you know we gotta eat. And you know, uh, cattle got to graze. That's right. And, and, and we might need a place to, to congregate. We might need a spot to go to. Indeed. Can't nobody tell you what to have on your own goddamn land. Right. Or at least, you know. Because I'll be honest with you, white folks show you that. It, what My brother told me some heavy shit the other day. He said, well, niggas got money, so it ain't about economics. That was a heavy key. Would you like to expound on that brother about how it ain't about money? Sure will. Sure will. Because I know, because I know we need economic empowerment. We need to bounce our Definitely. dollar within We're not our saying, own black community. We're not saying not that. Right. But but what? we have multiple billionaires. You just thought about one right then. Mm. I know a black billionaire. We got multiples. We got multiple millionaires. So, we have the capital in terms of whatever needs to be done. You, you get what I'm saying? Right, absolutely. And, and moving this vehicle forward. We got the capital to do that. So, it ain't about money. It's about mind. Because if the money is in the hands of all these conflicting minds, mm. it's hard for them to move in the force that they could be, mm. the power. And I ain't talking about comparing, because that's what money does. It it, it makes you, you know. It, I had to witness pulling up on a little yacht. I, I mean, pulling up on a big yacht in a little yacht. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It becomes that 
moment when you like, <laughs> first of all, life is beautiful, but beyond that, ain't no difference between this and that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you can say that's bigger, but that's all you saying. It's a yacht, it's still a yacht. It's a yacht is a yacht. But mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm getting, I don't want to get off, off center. Concerning money, we already got what we need, mm -hmm. you know? And if you don't believe that, all you gotta do is start bouncing it amongst yourself. See, what's gonna happen is we gotta rid ourselves of the mindset that I don't wanna make him rich. That's a negative mindset. You making us rich. That's a negative mindset. It's a us. It's really you making us. us rich. You know, you know how I know you making us rich? Is because by empowering financially another uh, uh, one of us, you just by default help all of us. And here's how you like, man. I, I know selfish people with black businesses, and they don't. They be going to Gucci and Louis and all that stuff. They go where they want to spend their money. But I'm gonna guarantee you this: the places that they need to go, they can only find us. They can only find in us. Mm -hmm. What you talking about? Motherfuckers be getting white balled out of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, 